Bună ziua, dragii mei! So today's uh, novel is an American author and uh, he's one of the leading uh, authors, I think, uh, still currently writing. He's getting on a bit now. Uh, his name's Richard Ford and the novel I want to talk about is uh, one of his first works, his first novel. He wrote a series of short stories before this, but it's The Sports Writer. And here it is, The Sports Writer by Richard Ford. So it was published in uh, 1986 and uh, it describes the um, adventures of what happens to a sports writer whose name is Frank Bascom, lives in Haddon, New Jersey and uh, travels into New York every day to write his column for a sports magazine. Um, it's... Um, I think it's a classic novel and it introduces a character whom we'll meet uh, in three other works that Ford has since uh, completed. Interestingly enough, uh, The Sports Writer was only written in 1986 because Richard Ford himself had been laid off as a sports writer. Uh, the magazine he was writing for uh, had gone bust and he had this the ideas for a novel, fragments hanging around at home. So he sat down and completed The Sports Writer. Um, uh, Richard Ford himself was born in uh, Mississippi and uh, moved to variously to um, Connecticut and uh, has a series of houses now <laughs> because he's done very well for himself and uh, indeed won the Pulitzer Prize for his next novel, Independence Day, in 1995. Um, it's how to describe the novel. Uh, I'll give a very brief outline without too many spoilers, hopefully. Um, it's the story. The story takes place over the Easter weekend and Easter week. And on Good Friday, um, our main character, Frank Bascom, meets his ex-wife, who is referred to as X, the um, letter X, at the grave of their son. Um, who died from Reyes, um syndrome. And every weekend they pay a visit, sorry, every Easter weekend they pay a visit to their son's grave and uh, he reads a poem. He's uh, a member of a, uh, a rather strange club in Haddon called the Divorced Men's Club. They meet up for drinks, to eat, to go duck hunting and to go fishing. Um, Otherwise, uh, how has his life moved on? Well, he got divorced because his wife, after a robbery at their house, was going through the drawers to see what was missing and found a series of uh, love letters from an ex, um, an affair he'd had some years previously and decided to, to leave him on the spot. She's a, a very keen golfer, uh, his, his ex-wife, and lives not far away. Um, Bascom himself lives just over the road uh, from the, uh, just behind the cemetery where his son is buried. Uh, he has a lodger um, who is studying for the, uh, to become a priest. And uh, so he doesn't live entirely on his own, but he lives a fairly solitary existence. I think the best way of understanding um, Ford's work is it's it's the literary equivalent of an Edward Hopper painting. People don't connect, they don't communicate. There is a, a an isolation and a theme again of observation of observing people. This is what he does as a sports writer. He observes, watches, judges, and then writes about it. Um, he says, "What the the aim for Bascom is all we really want." is to get to the point where the past can explain nothing about us and we can get on with life. So he is a, an existential figure getting on with life and not being defined by his past. He has a girlfriend, a rather nubile uh, nurse uh, called Vicky, who is eight years younger uh, than, than, than he. Uh, he's 38, she's 30. And part of the sub-themes of the book is the gr uh, gradual collapse in his relationship uh, with, with Vicky. In fact, he does find it rather difficult to 
form relationships. He has a lot of fleeting relationships, but nothing of any real substance. Um, he says in another quotation from the book, the true badge of friendship is not to be curious, but just to accept people for what they are. He's in a, um, a world of perpetual escape, escaping from Manhattan, escaping from literature, escaping from his family. He um, has a job in Manhattan, but he can't wait to get away. He hates being in New York um, after dark. Uh, he's escaped from literature. He originally wrote a series of short stories which brought him some financial success, but abandoned, uh, this is Frank Bascom, the character, abandoned his um, literary pretensions to become a sports writer. Um, his, uh, one of his jobs in the book is to go and interview a paraplegic ex-football player. And he goes to see this character called Herb, who turns out to be a deeply unpleasant individual who is rude to him. And um, Frank is hoping to write a positive spin on how this heroic figure has taken his disability in his stride and has risen to the challenge of carrying on with life. But as we find out, being in a wheelchair doesn't make you a nice person. And Herb, Herb's dream, which he has recurring on recurring uh, nights, is to dream about finding three elderly ladies broken down in a car and strangling them. So his dream is about committing murder and he has few illusions about his life. Um, he's friendly with one of the members of the Divorced Men's Club called Walter, and towards the end of the book, uh, Walter meets a, a tragic end um, and is governed by a sense of guilt about some events in his past, which I won't divulge. The term for this sort of literature uh, it is uh, a first-person narrative, is dirty realism. Although uh, the realism in Ford's books is perhaps less dirty because he's dealing with middle-class, fairly affluent individuals um, who uh, make a good living and have everything they want, apart from meaningful relationships. So perhaps there's a message there for all of us. He went on, as I said, in 95 to write Independence Day. And then he wrote um, a third book in the trilogy and everyone thought it was completed. Uh, the Lay of the Land was his, his next work. Uh, he wrote, uh, most recently, a series of four what we could call novellas called entitled Let Me Be Frank With You, a rather cheesy title. But the quality of the writing is 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 is, uh, is is well worth a read, and as I said, he won the Pulitzer Prize for Independence Day in 1995. So, if you're looking for an American novelist writing about the decline of society um, and the gradual disintegration of American society, then Richard Ford is your man, and I can't recommend the sports writer highly enough. Do enjoy it. Buna ziwa, shi sanatate. La rivedere.